What's up guys, it's me, Joel. Uh, I have a little project to do today, so I thought I'd take you with me. Um, we're going to be rewiring a dryer. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, because apparently uh, there's two different types of plugs for uh, 220. Uh, there's this one, which is the actual wall plug. And then there's this one that actually came on the dryer. Now, why there's two different plugs? I don't know. With the 110, you have one plug, or you have the plug that has the one on the bottom. But you know what? The hole where the one that goes on the bottom uh, still takes the two prong. So why do we have to make things difficult? I don't know. But um, so from the master electricians at. Home Depot they taught me how to do it so either you're gonna watch me fix this dryer or you're gonna watch me electrocute myself so let's go ahead and uh, get to work. So guys this is our dryer the back end of our dryer and there's the two plugs and my bottle of OxyClean that looks like it's spilling lovely anyways so there's the plug and there's the outlet so uh, as you can see there's Three prongs and four prongs. And my bottle of OxyClean. So let's go ahead and. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the two screws here. This one is actually a ground, so actually, all we got to do is remove that. I have a quarter inch little drive and a little wrench. All you got to do is start it. That's pretty much it, and then you can do the rest by hand. Just a little, little screw. Now, when you take off this plate, it's going to expose all the wires. Remember, make sure that your power is disconnected. So you have three right here: one, two, and three. This one's red, white, and then black. Which on our new power cord, you can see there's four. There's a white, black, and red, and a green. This guy is actually a ground, and that guy's going to be going right up here. So first, let's go ahead and take this apart. Make sure you don't lose these pieces. fun times. Then it's loose, so you pull it out. Oops, as long as it doesn't get stuck. And that's our old wire. Now we bring in our big one. Now please make sure that you hook them up in the right section. So We'll do the bottom one's black, so we'll do black first. Then we'll do white. Now, like I said, guys, I've never done this before, so. If I seem a little nervous, I probably should be. Then we're going to do the last one. Then, now this set doesn't come with another bolt to bolt this guy in, so I found myself probably about a quarter inch little fat nut or bolt. You bend this around, put him right there where it shows for the ground. And make sure you get a self-tapping screw. 
Because if you don't, ah, this is a lot harder than it looks. All right. Whew. So that's together. Now, shall we plug it in and try our luck? I think we should. So if I elect, get electrocuted, uh, yeah, just have some paintball for me and uh, say nice things about me at my funeral. So, let's take our ginormous plug here and our other giant plug here and uh, let's see if this works. No sparks. Holy cow, people, we have liftoff. Except it sounds like there's something in the dryer. Okay guys, and as a bonus feature today, I am going to teach you how to pick a lock with using a rusty nail. So you ready? All right, pay attention because it's pretty difficult. All right, let's go. All right, so here's your door. Obviously, it's locked. So we take our rusty nail, we put it inside that little hole right there and find the squishy spot and done. That's right, yeah. I hope y'all uh, I hope y'all got a video of that so you can uh, record it and play it over and over again for you guys who are hard learners. But <laughs> that's how you pick a door with a rusty nail. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah!